So now in this video we're going to look at charging a capacitor to make a voltage ramp. It's actually really simple. The last video we looked at the, or the last uh, few videos, we looked at the RC time constant. We also looked at the current source that we're going to use in this video, in the absolute last video. But in any case, if there's a resistor limiting the current when it comes to the capacitor charging, there's a bigger voltage across the resistor at first, more current flows, so its voltage rises quicker at first, but as the voltages get more equal, less current flows, and there's a curve. It slows down, but it keeps charging for a while. With a current source, as long as there's a big enough voltage difference between the capacitor and the supply, you're going to get the uh, current that you have set. And uh, for the LM334, I think that's up to about a volt from the uh, power supply. We'll look at that in this video. But in any case, the main takeaway is the voltage of the capacitor rises steadily because current is coming in steadily. It does depend on the value of the capacitor for how long that takes and for the current. So when it comes to a one milliamp current and a 1000 microfarad, which is the same as a millifarad, you will get one volt per second right there. So if you did 0.1 microamps, it would take 10 seconds to change one volt. We also have a switch here to instantly discharge the capacitor down to zero volts. And so here on the board, you can see we have the LM334 there. There's the V plus pin to the positive supply. The R pin to V minus, we have a 68 ohm resistor, which nicely gives us pretty much spot on one milliamp of current. Straight across from there, because the top two pins are always connected, we have a 1000 microfarad capacitor. The uh, alligator clips that I have on the board, they come from my uh, pocket oscilloscope there. I just clip them to jumpers so I can easily move the jumpers to where I want to take measurements. I have the power supply set to 8 volts and since the LM334 should only have about 10 milliamps of current maximum go through it, I set the meter to limit current to 10 milliamps of current. With the 68 ohm uh, resistor right there, we'll get about 1 milliamp of current. So let's uh, go across the capacitor so the way it's wired up, the capacitor is set to uh, charge naturally. We have to press the switch to discharge it. And uh, there you can see we are shy of 8 volts and uh, there's only eight squares that go up and so I use eight volts often. Let's uh, turn down the light. That'll help see uh, better. And uh, so there we go. We're just shy of eight volts. So now we'll zoom back a little bit. You'll see I just have to press the button really quickly and the voltage is rising. It's rising as a ramp. It's rising steadily until we get, uh, you need, uh, looks like about at least half a volt more than uh, what you ultimately want for it to set the current. So there's about uh, half a volt across the uh, current source right now and uh, it's, it's kind of stuck there. But in any case I didn't quite make it to the line but you can see it rises steadily. It's just short of these intersections right there. The voltage is changing steadily because current is going steadily into the capacitor. So now what we're going to do is instead of a 68 ohm resistor we're going to put a 10 ohm resistor to uh, set the current so since it's about a seventh of just shy of a seventh of the uh, resistance we're actually going to get it about seven times the current. Alright so it got loud here I'll wrap this up quickly we got the 10 ohm resistor right there and you can see the 7 volts if I press the button right there we got about 7 times the current and there you can see it charged about 7 times as fast but still it is a ramp it is a straight line. So in any case uh, check out one of the other videos that I'm posting uh, click like subscribe the bell all that donate to Patreon if you can that would help a lot I have a link down in the description and uh, check out my other videos. I will see you in the next video.